There is none like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Almighty one. There is none like you. There is none like you. The song says, There is no one like God. There is no one like you. And as I just worship God and, and worship Him, because <laughs> He's so good. And he's so faithful. And I think of, of what he's done for me and time and time again. And, you know, I just want to worship him. And, you know, I'm in the busiest time of the year working and busy with things. And in the midst of that, I, I cry out for God. I cry out for him because I need to know him more, like Paul said, that I might know you more. <laughs> and I, I record this video because I want you to know that God is real and my heart breaks. For those that don't know, that don't know that God is good, that, that haven't tasted and seen that God is good. I was at the gym tonight and I, I started sharing my, my lung transplant story with, with one of the people at the gym and she said this thing that just grieved my heart, she said, you know, it's amazing, you know, when, when a, a child gets cancer or people go through hard things, there's an underlying reason why. And it grieved me because God didn't give me cystic fibrosis. He didn't, he didn't make me born with a lung disease. He didn't give me this disease. Everything Jesus did was good. And Jesus said, when you've seen me, you've seen the Father. And there's certain Christians and even people like I met today at the gym that, that just believe that this all-knowing God is a bad father and that he puts sickness on people and that he is a thief and that he kills, steals, and destroys. But my heart cries out because that's the work of Satan. That's the work of God's enemy. And when we attribute sickness and cancer and my lungs deteriorated to 18% and we, we, we put that as God's work, it, it hurts my heart because, you know, what I said to her was, you, you, you obviously don't realize what disease really is and how ugly it really is because I said to her, I would do three hours of medicine every day, lung treats, treatments and coughing up blood and, and, and just choking to death and having 18% of my lung function, I said to her, you know, that is not God. I fought disease with every fiber of my being. And I began to share with her my testimony of what God did in the midst of what the enemy did did all my life, trying to take my life, trying to kill me, trying to destroy me. And I told her how I walked through the fire and I was not consumed. And I, I just shared with her and, and I could tell she was not a Christian, but she was um, what I would call new age, maybe Buddhist or, you know, just sort of um, believing in a higher power. But my heart cries that she, as I biked home, I just prayed like God, 
I pray that she would hunger to know you more, God, the real and the true God, and that she would know that you are good and that every time I see her, that, that she would not be repulsed by me in my presence and your presence in me, but that she would be drawn to me and drawn to your goodness. And I was just praying for her and lifting her up. And, and I shared with her not only my transplant testimony, but how God healed me a year ago of a blood condition that I had for over a year and a half and how God completely healed me. And it was my first healing that, that was without any doctors, nothing. And I shared it with her and she was amazed. And it was such an honor. And I even went on to share about my dog's testimony. And, and the thing in my heart tonight to share was just, you know, when God does something for you, whether it's your, your dog being healed, like my dog was, and how he was healed of um, congenital heart failure, um, pancre pancreatic um, uh, reactions, uh, pancreatitis, um, things like that. God healed my dog of that. And when God does good things like that, it's not just for us to be glad that, that it happened but it's also so that we would be key witnesses to other people and testify what God has done in our life. And so it was such an honor to just share what God did. And, and I just want to encourage you, the, the Christians watching, to just continue to share what God is doing in the hopes that we would put a seed in someone's heart that would be a burning seed of hope of a real God that really loves people and that has given us the ministry of telling people that God's not mad at them but he desires to know them and be a part of their life and and to testify what God has done in our life and it's not just for us it's for others to receive the same sort of testimonies and even greater just like Jesus said you know the works that I do you will do also but greater works and so I expect greater miracles and healings to see in other people's lives. And, and my heart, too, is anyone listening that doesn't believe in God, that doesn't know God, just like this lady at the gym, I pray that you would hear in my voice and see in my eyes and see in my face the reality, the presence of a living God that is real because eternity is forever Eternity is forever, and this relationship that I have with God is for everybody. Whoever believes will be saved. Whoever believes that God so loved the world that he sent Jesus Christ into the earth to live and to die for our sins so that we might be made holy and forgiven and washed white and clean as snow and be completely forgiven of our past, present, and future sins and to, to lean on the arms of a God that is so humble and so mighty and so gentle and that we would know him and continue to make him known in a world that doesn't know him. <laughs> so I pray for those that don't believe in God, that you would even right now pray and say, God, if you're real, reveal yourself to me. Show me who you are. Show me who Jesus is. Show me your plan for my life. Forgive me of all the wrong that I've done. Wash me clean. And God will show up like he did in my life. He reached out to me through people. He, he encountered me in a, a bathroom, in a gym, and through other people, and people praying. And here I am today, 15 years later, totally in love with Jesus. <laughs> totally in love and thankful. So thankful for a God that shows up. But the key is we need to believe the right things as Christians. We need to know that God is good, that he's not using sickness, that he is not 
the destructive destroyer, but it says that God is love and love does not hurt. <laughs> it only adds to, it only strengthens, it only heals. And that's who God is. And I don't know everything about him like the Apostle Paul said, that I might know him more. But the little bit that I know is God is good and we need to know that and believe that and expect that and share about it when it happens.